Hello everyone, welcome to the class. In this class, we are going to focus on punctuation marks. Some of the usages we would discuss that are very important. All of the important things that are uh, uh, very necessary for every student, uh, those things I have already covered in uh, uh, punctuation lectures. So I shared some of the video links with you. So hopefully you have watched those, but if you haven't, then uh, today we are going to sum uh, up some of the important things here also. But it would be very uh, uh, good if you uh, go ahead and uh, watch the links that I already shared with you because there I have covered everything in detail. So here I'm not going to cover uh, everything that much, uh, okay, so in that much in detail, but here I'm going to focus some of the important things, especially some of the things that I have been told by your teacher to cover, okay? So one of the important thing that your teacher had uh, told me to cover was the usage of uh, semicolon and colon, okay? So already uh, you guys know these usages, okay? But today maybe I'll just uh, uh, remind you some of the uh, usages of these things. You already know what uh, some of the usages of comma, okay? So if you uh, want to know detailed, uh, you know, usages of comma, you should watch the video links that I had already shared. Okay, so this handout that I'm going to use is not that much detailed. Okay, so keep in uh, mind. So this is just a summary of these, uh, a quick summary of these punctuation marks. Okay, so we are not going to discuss comma first. So let's go, uh, go to some other punctuations, okay, that are very important and that you might not know on your own, okay. So the period, period is also very common, you know uh, its usages, okay, question mark is also common, okay, so you already know this. An exclamation point or exclamation mark, that's something easy, okay, you already know this. So let's start from semicolon, okay, so this sign that you see, a period and a comma okay so this thing is known as semicolon okay so what are some usages of semicolon the semicolon is used to connect independent clauses it shows a closer relationship between the clauses than a period would show okay now understand this thing uh, this says that when you have two independent sentences they can stand alone, okay? But they have a relationship uh, that's too uh, close, okay? That's very close. Both of the sentences are talking about one thing, okay? That is the relationship. If you have two sentences, both are talking about the same thing, or they have uh, a relationship, relationship in terms of a thought, okay? In both of these sentences, you have same thought, or somehow they are connected then you can use a semicolon, okay? So for example, the sentence, John was hurt. He knew she only said it to upset him. Now see, the word upset and hurt, they are talking about the same idea, same thing. They are somehow connected. John was hurt. He knew she only said it to upset him. Are you getting what I'm saying? The sentences should have a same thought in them or if not exactly the same thought, they should be somehow connected, okay, in, in terms of uh, their relationship. Raise your hands if you understand this. Do you get it or not? You get it? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm going to repeat it. Now, semicolon is used to connect independent clauses. Independent clauses meaning independent sentences. A sentence is a clause, okay? Independent clause meaning late sentence which can stand alone, which doesn't need uh, any other uh, sentence or any other phrase to make it uh, complete. Independent clause meaning independent sentence. So, for example, if I just give here a period, here, if I give here a period instead of a semicolon, if I just say John was at a period, meaning full stop, then I start a sentence with capital he, okay, H should be capital, he knew she only said it to upset him. Now, at the end, already I am giving here a period, 
okay so that is also fine that's not wrong you can end independent sentences with a period but if you want to use semicolon then what is the function of a semicolon semicolon shows a closer relationship between the clauses meaning between the two sentences now we have this one sentence here okay and we have another sentence now if we see if we look at these two sentences they have a relationship okay they are similar this sentence and this sentence is talking about something that is connected both of sentences discuss about john here john was at okay and here him meaning again john now another sentence uh, information he knew she only said it to upset him now these things are also talking about john somehow the thought is same somehow the thought is connected okay so again those of you who have joined me now i'm repeating semicolon is used to show the relationship of two sentences that are close okay they are close in meaning they are close in thought so instead of giving a period and making them independent sentences it's better to connect them it's better to use a semicolon okay so sometimes when you have sentences you have to see if those sentences are connected in some way you can use a semicolon and you can uh, bring a little variety in your sentence a structure okay shall we move to the other punctuation mark now are still you need any sure good so for example uh, when you are writing any story when you are talking about your character or uh, something like this you have two three sentences that are connected somehow so maybe in two of these sentences you can use a semicolon okay now let's move to the colon okay this double period are one period uh, and then uh, upon it there is another period this is known as colon okay so a colon what are its functions a uh, colon has a, a, a number of functions okay so some of the common usages we are going to discuss here okay so uh, who would like to read this text can someone read this <laughs> Okay, Nisa. Sir, may I? Okay, Bilal, go ahead. Please. The colon has two main clauses. After a word, in, intro, introducing a quotation, an explanation, an example, or a series. It is also often used after the salutation of a business letter. Within time expressions. Within time, it is used to separate out the hour and minute. Okay. Okay. As I told you that uh, uh, in this uh, class we are summing up. It's not a detailed one by one, uh, you know, uh, explanation about these. As I told you that uh, I have already uh, made the videos on punctuation marks and I shared the links with you. So uh, it would be uh, very good if you go ahead and watch those. Then uh, everything I have discussed there. Uh, one by one. Okay. But here I'm just summing up things because already you know these structures. Okay, so let's see. Uh, a colon has two main uses. After a word, introducing a quotation. Okay, meaning uh, if somebody said something, right? You are going to uh, use a colon and then tell us what they said. Okay, meaning somebody's quotation. Somebody has said something. Okay, and you can use. Let me put it in any uh, example for you. Okay. Let me say. I'll share a new screen. Okay, let me try again sharing the new screen. If you can see it, can you see it now? Can you see? No, sir. Yes, sir. Now it's visible. Some of you are able to see, and some of you are not able to see. Okay. Uh, I, those of you who are able to see, uh, you should uh, see. He told. Now I'm using quotation mark. Okay, here whatever uh, uh, somebody has said, we would put here. Okay, and then you see that I used a colon. I'm just 
using colon to tell somebody's quoted words. So, for example, he told, he told, and quotation marks, he told, she was, she wasn't home. For example, now uh, those of you who can see, uh, now here, you see I have used colon here. Now many of you might say that why not I should use a comma here and then write something like this. Okay. Now here, our purpose is to show to the reader that this is something important. This is something that, uh, you know, uh, we are telling or uh, sharing that somebody else said. Okay. So he told she wasn't home. Now here, it's the same thing. But here, it's not a kind of explanation. Okay, here the connotation goes that this is kind of explanation. Somebody is saying this, somebody is explaining this. Okay, here it's just a quotation. Here it's not explanation. Okay, it's just a pure quotation. Okay, so maybe both of things are similar, but uh, this is a little uh, another way, okay, to write it. I don't know if you get it or not. Maybe we can discuss it a little more in the future. Okay, so see uh, here, after a word introducing a quotation, okay, so see, as I told you that that's exactly what. What is screen can you see now? Can you see the handout? Can you see the handout screen? Lal, what screen do you see now? I don't know. Zoom is acting up. I can't hear anyone. Hopefully, you can see the handouts. Okay, that I am using. Okay, so uh, see here, a colon has two main uses. After a word introducing a quotation, an explanation, or an example. Okay. So whatever, if you are giving any explanation, if you are quoting somebody's words, or if you are giving any example, okay, you can also use a colon, okay, or a series. If you have a series, if you have any item items, for example, you say, let me uh, take you back to the other screen that I was sharing. Hopefully you can see the screen. So, for example, if I'm going to share here a list of items. So, for example, if I say, I have, I've got many toys. Okay. Now, see, I have uh, used colon here. Now, I'm going to list items. What toys I have. Okay. So, for example, if you have a duck, you can say, I have many toys, a duck, okay, and uh, maybe a car, okay, and, and uh, what, okay, and maybe truck, okay, now see here, I used colon to give a list, okay, these are items, okay, so for example, uh, I say, another uh, sentence let's see teachers use different different tools for online teaching okay now here instead of giving a comma or a, a full stop if i'm going to give an example i can use the colon teachers use different tools for online teaching okay such as such as Zoom and GCR. Okay. Now see here, I gave these as examples. Okay. And I used a colon to show these examples. Is it clear? Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Raise your hands or tell me loudly. Yes, sir. Okay, good.
let's go back to the screen okay so see here for explanation purposes for example are a series a series of items now a series can be of any sentences or phrases so let me go back and uh, explain this to you in an example now a series can be of any uh, any uh, you know sentences also let me see for example fun saying i came to the college um, okay, i came to the college and uh, i'm using a, using a colon now okay i'm i came to the college or uh, let me see if I just say I, okay, so let me write the same sentence. I came to the college, took a face to face class. Okay, I came to the college, took face to face class, took an online class, and attended attended a meeting okay now see here that i'm explaining in the same sentence i'm also giving a kind of explanation that i came to college then what i did at the same time i'm using items or phrases a series a series of sentences okay a series of uh, phrases i came to college took face to face class took an online class and attended a meeting okay so see here I used colon to share a series, a series of phrases, a series of sentences, a series of items in first uh, here. Okay, so see, colon can also be used this way. Is it clear? The yes, other important thing, um, sometimes when you read any novel or a story, you can. Uh, Pay attention to the punctuations and see how they are used there. Okay, so sometimes uh, these explanations of the teachers really don't work. Okay, so sometimes when you read any novel or story, those uh, real examples in the book will help you understand these more. Okay, let me now uh, go ahead. Okay, so it is also often used to offer the salutation. Okay, of a business letter. Now, comma is also used in uh, letters, okay, for uh, salutations and also colon. Now, what is the difference? Let me uh, take back, okay, take you back to the other screen. Salutations are greetings, okay. So, salutations are greetings, and we have two kinds of greetings in data writing, right? So, one is opening greeting, and the other is closing greeting, right? So for example, if I'm writing informal letter, okay, a letter to family and friends. There, for example, I would use dear Ali, a comma, right? So a comma is used for opening and closing greetings. Okay, if I'm uh, using, if I'm writing an informal letter, I should use here a, co a comma, okay? Dear Ali, and then I would construct paragraphs and all this. Once I'm done with uh, paragraphs, okay, all of these paragraphs and then if i am ending the letter i would say for example you are you are uh, you are loving friend okay or brother now here again i used a comma right to close uh, the letter for the ending greeting okay now if i am not i'm writing a business letter Okay, what is a business letter or formal letter? A formal letter is also known as a business letter, which is written to officials, professional people. Okay, so uh, written to professional people like doctors, teachers, uh, principals, editors, okay, whatever these professional people with whom you don't have any, uh, with whom you have just a kind of business kind of relationship. In those letters, opening greetings are, uh, in opening greetings, colon is used. So, for example, if you are saying, Dear Mr. Smith, for example, 
then here you can use this also a comma but it would be better to use here a colon how many of you get this okay and then you construct here other sentences other uh, paragraphs okay so here we learned that colon is also used in the salutations of the letters okay okay now another uh, usage within time expressions okay within time it is used to separate out the hour and minute now here the example is already given here okay you see here time uh, 12 okay so this is hour and these are minutes okay and then between them you see a colon okay so see it is used to separate out the hour and minutes so this is hour and this is minute okay and here we use the colon okay any questions so far whatever uh, usages today we have discussed of semicolon and colon are these clear to you yes sir okay okay everybody is raising hand okay that's good uh that's it for today okay so i'm going to share this handout with you tomorrow in your gcr okay so that you can learn on your own you can read it on your own okay you can take some notes in your english copy as well from this handout how many of you watched the video links that i shared yesterday about nutrition marks Raise your hand, those of you who have watched. If you haven't, then you have to watch those, okay? Because they are in detail with lots of examples. I have explained the usages of these common punctuation marks. Okay, everyone, that's it for today. We'll meet next week in Zoom class. Until then, goodbye.